Hey, it's Earth Castle. Have you ever played a Gmod map and wondered what's going on behind the scenes to make this all work? What things have been put in place that I can't see? You might be surprised to learn that a lot of the mapping process isn't even visible in the final result. Invisible walls to block the player from leaving the map, skyboxes to mimic a real sky, and triggers to cause events to happen. Today I will be explaining how most of the tool textures work and how they should be used in the Hammer Editor. But before that, feel free to join the Earth Castle Discord server where you can get mapping help or just hang out, and the Hedge Discord server. You can also check out my Patreon for exclusive maps, early video teasers, and more. Also, sorry if I sound a little quiet, I'm still recovering from cold. Anyway, on to the video. The first tool texture is the no draw texture. When applied to a face of a brush of displacement, this texture is completely invisible in game. You might be thinking, why not just use the invisible texture? Well, the reason no draw textures are used instead is because using the no draw texture completely skips rendering the face that it's on, thus saving a lot of computing power and making maps run a lot smoother. You'll often see it used in areas the player can't see during normal gameplay or on the outside of a map where the faces meet with the void. The next tool texture is the trigger texture. This texture is used on funk entities with it often being used as a radius to trigger something when the player steps into the entity or does something with the entity. It's also the texture used for precipitation entities and a lot of other miscellaneous funk entity types. So in conclusion, its main use is for when a funk entity is used to trigger an action. After that is all of the clip textures. These act as invisible walls for whichever specified entity or thing in its name. For example, player clip textures are often used on stairs to smooth them out, but since it's a player clip texture, any other entities or things don't interact with the brush. This works the same way for all other clip textures. I would recommend not using it in out of bounds areas, because although the player might not be able to get through it, items still can. Next is the invisible texture. This one is pretty self-explanatory. It's just a texture that is completely transparent. Good for wall boundaries since nothing can get through it, or if you want a player and objects to move in a certain way that the actual terrain does not reflect. Think of it as creating your own collision mesh. After that is the block light texture. This one is also pretty self-explanatory. Unlike all the other tool textures, this one affects lighting. For example, if you want a light entity to stop at an exact point, you'd put a wall in between with the block light texture. This texture is also completely invisible and can be passed through by everything. It can make lighting look pretty unnatural in certain situations though. Next is the area portal texture. This texture is used in map optimization and hides world geometry and entities when outside of the player's view. They are often put on doorways or windows where a wall will be blocking things on the inside room. When using this you should be very careful as a small gap in the area portal that leads to the other side of the area portal will cause a leak. And finally, the last texture is the ladder texture. This is one of the ways to make climbable ladders in Hammer. Simply put it around your ladder model as if making a collision box, or put it anywhere really. When the player touches it, they'll be able to climb up or down like with ladders. It might not be the best way to make ladders, but it's the most simple and does what it does well. And that's all the tool textures I'll be covering in this video. Mostly just because those are the only ones I know, and are some of the most important. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more Hammer content. You can also join my Discord server and the Hedge server using the links below, and join my Patreon using the links below. Thank you for watching, and that's all for now. See you.